How's it going guys? If you've been following my channel recently, you might have noticed some weird stuff going on because my channel got hacked. Um, it wasn't me who posted these cryptocurrency scams and changed it all to SpaceX Live. I'm not going to do all that, put too much effort into this channel to do, to waste it away by doing stuff like that. So yeah, finally I managed to get my account back and it was quite hard to do because to be honest, if your account gets hijacked, there's not much support that's quite easily accessible if you don't have access to your Google account and that was the hardest bit. So what I decided to do is put this video together. If anyone um, has got a YouTube channel that goes through the same thing that I did where your Google account is compromised, you don't have access to it uh, because the uh, hackers have changed the recovery email address or recovery phone number etc and it makes it really hard to get back into your Google account I put this video together to give you some guidance on how you can recover your YouTube channel if it does get hijacked. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is use a good antivirus software such as Kaspersky, which is the one I use, and do a full deep scan of your PC because uh, they might have a Trojan on there that you don't know about that's actually feeding back passwords and all sorts of data. Even if you've got 2FA, they can get around that by using a Trojan to feed back data to uh, the hacker. So the first thing I'd recommend is doing a full deep scan of your PC using a good antivirus software like Kaspersky um, or Norton or whatever you want to do. Windows Defender is not quite you know, top enough for these uh, viruses if your account has been compromised. So I recommend doing that. If it does find one, what I did is I did a full reset of my whole PC, reinstalled Windows, wiped it to get rid of all the nasty bugs in there and make sure you get a fresh start. Once you do that, I recommend going onto your Gmail account and looking into the settings and filters to see if there's any rogue filters or rules set in there that you didn't set yourself. For example, what I found was this Trojan uh, on the PC had set up its own rules so whenever I got an email from Google or Amazon or Facebook for example, if it's stealing data from you, it would automatically delete those uh, emails um, as a rule. So it's quite clever. So what you want to do is make sure there's no rules in there that you haven't set up yourself. If you don't have access to your Google account, then you, what you want to do first is go on to g was it g.co forward slash recover to get access to your Google account. Now this is the hardest part. If you don't have access to your Google account, you basically don't have access to your YouTube channel and any of the Google account services. But the tough thing is because your yeah, Gmail is a free service, you're not going to be able to bring up any support and they won't be able to help you recover it. You have to use their online recovering tools. This is what makes it difficult. If the hacker has changed the recovery email address and the recovery uh, phone number um, and set up their own 2FA, then it makes it really difficult for you to get back in. And Google uh, won't help you because Gmail is a free service. This is the tough part, okay? So first thing, see if you can actually get back into it. Um, by using g.co forward slash recover. I'll leave all the links below in the description. Um, but if you go to there, what you need to do is make sure you sign in on a computer that you normally use um, or device that you normally use. Um, if you, obviously if they've changed the password, use your last known password that you had. If they uh, change your recovery phone number, if it asks for it, use your last uh, phone number that you thought you had and try and get back in there. If you can get back in there, then winner. At least you've got access to your Google account and you can proceed from there. If you don't, which is the, what the case with my hat, uh, I had, then you kind of want to go through an appeals process. Now, if you're a YouTuber and they've taken over your account, chances are that they uh, are streaming some kind of illicit um, uh, videos on there, they might have removed your videos, they might have put their own videos on there and they're probably running some kind of cryptocurrency scam which is what they were doing on mine. Eventually YouTube will realise that the videos on there are nefarious and they will remove them and they will probably ban your account but to be honest that's a better sign than having a live account that's streaming better uh, 
horrible stuff that could scam people. So what you want to do then, if you don't have access to your Google account and your account's been banned or your account's still live and it's streaming dodgy stuff, you want to click on this link that I'm going to put in the description. What this link will do is allow you to do an appeals process that gets you access back to your YouTube channel if it has been compromised. Um, if it's been banned, then it makes the, the, the job easier, to be honest, because you can justify why it's been banned. The link's below and that will help you recover your uh, YouTube channel. Um, once you've done that, the Google support team for YouTube will send you a hijack form. And basically this, this form is only sent out to people who have had their accounts hijacked. Um, and it'll ask you loads of questions like when did you first do a U uh, sign up to YouTube? When, uh, what was your last video you uploaded? You know, what's your date of birth, uh, what, what uh, places did you sign in from to verify that you are the original channel uh, owner. Uh, so fill that form out as best as you can. Once you've got access to that form, it will make your life a lot easier and the YouTube account team will keep sending you emails to the email that you're using to get back into your account. Uh, eventually you will get it back it will seem a bit dull at first because you think my whole channel's gone but you, as long as you stick to those links then they will help you um, once you've actually got back into your account and the Google team has restored your channel what you need to do now is damage control you need to secure that channel as much as you can um, I would recommend using a password manager um, I use Kaspersky Password Manager, but you could use something like LastPass or 1Password and make unique passwords for everything. Because chances are, if they've got access to your Google account email and, uh, you use, and your password, they're going to try that email address and password on all sorts of things that, that you might use. For example, Facebook, Instagram, um, Trading212, you know, any banking things, shopping, Amazon. Um, so you want to use a password manager and change all your passwords and make them all unique. That's a good way to do it. You also want to set up all your recovery details again. Check for recovery malicious emails that you never set up. Check your phone number. Um, activate two-factor authentication as well. Um, and that's pretty much it really. So, step, so just to summarize exactly what you need to do. First, do a virus scan. If it finds any viruses, then you know, uh, use an antivirus software to remove them or do a hard reset of your PC, reinstall Windows, wipe everything. That's always a good bulletproof way of doing it. Check your Gmail settings for um, uh, any rogue filters or rules that it's already set up in the settings menu. Um, and then if you can't uh, try and recover your account uh, online, if you can't recover it, then fill out the form, which the link is in the description below to go through the appeals process and that's the only way you'll be able to get back into your account. Now the level of service you'll get from Google would very much depend on how big of a channel you are. Um, if you're part of the YouTube Creator Program um, and you've got the uh, and you've linked it to your AdSense account, chances are they are going to help you because you're part of the YouTube Creator Partner Program. I am, so it did help me out. But if you're not, then I'm not sure what kind of level of YouTube support you will get. That's something to bear in mind. Um, but yeah, remember, once you've got access to it, you need to change all the passwords on all your account because the chances are that they're going to try that uh, password everywhere else on any accounts they, that you've been sending and receiving emails from. So I hope this video has helped if you have been hijacked or uh, like me um, because it does suck and it, it's very hard to find out who you need to contact to or where you need to go. Um, but I hope this video has helped if you have been hacked or hijacked and please of course don't forget to subscribe if this video has helped you out and drop a like and share it to anyone who you feel might need this kind of help because there's not many videos about hacked ha accounts out there. So thanks for watching my video, I'm back now finally and I'm going to make some, uh, got some more videos coming up that aren't to do with cryptocurrency scams. Catch you on the next one.